What's up, guys? I'm Jenny McGrath, and this is Big Man Fitness. And as you guys know, this is my sanctuary. We've talked about, about this place. We've given, well, we've been in here. But now, now it's time to discuss rest discuss while we're in here or about this place where the things we do the fitness makes these little micro tears in our muscles that's where the soreness comes from but when you're sore your muscles are torn well how do they get fixed that's where rest comes in you see rest and relaxation r and r tends to occur when we're not in stress when we're not pushing our muscles to certain boundaries or even once we're to those boundaries, continuing to move. It's that pain after you've gone for a long jog, legs are hurting. So you want to sit down. And that's your body telling you, you needs to start repairing those muscles. And that happens during sleep. And it's these, these micro tears that occur when Again, we're putting our muscles under stress, under under load. And as we keep putting them under load, again, it's that fight or flight. So our muscles response as we're pushing that, that fight or flight as far as we can, it's making those micro tears that I keep talking about. It's tearing the muscle so they can be repaired and be stronger for the next time. So when we rest and we, we relax, our body starts producing certain hormones to help not combat the soreness, it's to make the soreness, well, make your muscles better. So it's those things I've talked about in the past, supplements. We take in vitamins, we take in supplements. Well, some of the supplements I take are things like creatine because even though I get creatine from the food I eat, it is also, I want more because I'm trying to get my muscles to really develop and get bigger, which means I also need to give my muscles that chance to relax, to, to not be under load and to repair themselves. So yes, when we eat, the food is taken in, it's broken down into the proteins and the, the carbs, the things we need, the macronutrients and the micronutrients, and they start feeding our muscles. But it's really during rest, sleep especially, that the, the muscles are kind of put into a, all right, let's get back, let's get those construction crews in here and let's start building what was destroyed. And that is where the magic happens. And you see, it's what I do in here. That, well, allows me to feed what I'm trying to get done out there and down there. So the kitchen is, as I've said before, probably the most important spot. But there's other spots that are just as important. Because in here, that's important. It's the rest that we need. And doctors recently have been saying seven to nine hours is what a person usually needs if they're very active. I consider myself moderately active, but I've noticed six hours, well, it does the best for me. So your, your outcomes may vary. And it's up to you to figure out what works for you and what doesn't. But for me, it's six hours most nights, seven to eight on the weekends when I can sleep in. The reason it's so important in here <clears throat> is the fact that when we sleep, our bodies do the repairing. I've talked about tearing your muscles or micro tears when we do our workouts. So tearing them and kind of getting them back into, well, building. So your body produces hormones, things like HGH. That's when ATP and all of that starts really occurring. It's when you're resting or when you're sleeping. Because even when you're not sleeping, you gotta rest a little bit too. So even when I'm sitting here, which after dinner, I'll sit down for an hour or two and really just kind of relax. That's part of the rest. Allowing myself to kind of take a load off. You see, I get up, I work out, go to work, moving around all day. It's not a lot of rest. So when I get home, 
I'll work out. I eat. Then I sit back and relax for an hour or two before I go to bed. It's that kind of <sighs> calm, but it also gets my body ready to one, go to sleep, but two, start the rebuilding process. It takes time and it only if you do everything right. Sitting here is part of doing everything right. So sometimes I'll sit here with my laptop and go over ideas for this, for this or for my other channels. And sometimes I will uh, just sit here and watch TV for a little bit. All depends, doesn't really change anything, but I'm getting the rest I need before I go to sleep. So in a way, I sleep for six hours, but I'm kind of getting the seven, the nine hours, as they say, of actual rest. And that, that again, is important. Nine hours, a uh, 24 hour day, means 15 hours, I'm go, go, go. And that's good. You see, it's when, when we get to a certain point, our muscles tend to fail. Well, when we're sleeping, our muscles are rebuilding all that ATP and creatine and everything starts mixing together. Your body starts using that. It's going through the bloodstream into the muscles, along with lots of oxygen and water to rebuild, get and make those muscle fibers stronger and better. So that the next time you're put under stress or fight or flight, well, hopefully you can do better. And that's why we gotta change our, our workouts up every so often, because our body can get used to, okay, well, if we're just gonna keep doing the same thing all the time, maybe we don't need to build the muscle as much. And it's also during our sleep, we get our human growth hormone, HGH. Some of you are probably asking, hey, isn't that illegal? It is a banned sub a substance when too much is detected, but all of our bodies make it. So the more we work out, the most our bodies can produce will be produced by our thyroid. It's just getting there to get it done. It's a good, good thing to have. And it's always when we don't need it or feel like we don't want it is when our body's gonna hurt us the most. We got these big dumb brains. We're doing good and we get lazy. We like that rest, relaxation. We like the rebuilding and our brains will tell us that and tell us, hey, you know what? Why don't you hold off? Hold off on that lifting. Let us rebuild for a little longer. And that's, that's what causes us to kind of slow down. Our bodies know a lot, but sometimes your brain, your brain's not as smart as you think it is. And that's when we got to really kind of push and push through everything that we're going and trying to achieve. That's where discipline comes in. So at the end of the day, what do we do? Well, hopefully we're going to bed, but we got to keep pushing ourselves. And I know I, I harp on this a lot, but it's out here in my sanctuary is where I have fun. Tearing those muscles, I guess. In the kitchen is where I build my diet week in, week out. And it's in the bedroom. And that's where the magic happens. But again, different kind of magic. That's where my body starts rebuilding for my next lift. Sorry guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you.